Everyone uses soft boxes, but most people in the same ways. So today I'm going to show you four different ways to try and inspire you to be more creative with your soft boxes. I'm Andre Beluso, also known as The Light Shaper. I'm just about to start four different fashion shots with each one of them, their own different lighting setup, only using soft boxes. So one setup will be a silhouette light, another one will be a top light, another one will be with a soft box turned into a very hard light, and another one turning a soft box even softer within a cage. I'm using two soft boxes to create a silhouette. I have a B1 here with an OCF 1x3 strip soft box, and it's actually got a blue gel inside of it. This is my side light. As my main light, which is also a side light, I have a D1 in this case. So I've added the strip mask on the 1x6 RFI strip soft box, and I did that to narrow the uh, light spread even more, making it even tighter. And I'm using two different size soft boxes because I would like one to be very large, so a lot softer on this end, and uh, the other one is a little bit smaller, so a little bit more focused. In terms of the background, in order to balance it with my main side light with the blue gel, I put another gel directly onto a B2, and that's going straight onto the background. Okay, let's try that. Beautiful. Lovely, yes. Beautiful, 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 yeah. The reason why I'm using two strip soft boxes to create the silhouette effect on the model, as opposed to doing just a backlight, is to create this nice rim light that goes on both sides. Then I'm adding a little bit more play with colors and tones. Very good, very good, very good. Thank you. Got it. I use two strip soft boxes to create a little bit of a silhouette kind of feeling. And one is giving us the blue highlight with the gel inside the soft box, and the other one, which is our main light from the opposite side, giving us the true colors of the skin and of the garments. So now I'm going to use a softbox to create a very hard light. And the way I'm going to do that is by placing my softbox very far away from the model, because that way my light source becomes smaller and smaller, making those shadows very defined and very sharp. The edges of the shadows I'm talking about, that's what is a hard light. And I'm going to remove the diffusers, both internal and external. I'm adding a gel onto a B1 straight on the background to try and create colored shadows. I've placed the light at that distance. Uh, it doesn't seem that much, but it's quite a lot. If if I compare it to the size of my hand, it's actually this big, including the softbox. It will give me a very hard light. Gorgeous. Yes, beautiful. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Yes, like that. Yes, beautiful. Lovely, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. I used to be scared of hard lights, and now I actually love them. And my, my favorite light is a hard light. A hard light is going to give you all the yeah. details of the garments, Beautiful. of the cloth. Yes, good. Nice, that's lovely. Spin up again. Okay, we got it. If you look at uh, this light here, just underneath the chin, it's an extremely sharp shadow. And we also see the hard shadow on the background where it gets deeper and where the edges, even though the model is quite far away from the background, the edges are still quite sharp. There's a lot of contrast on things like the earrings. We really see the colors and on the jacket, we really see all the details. And this is due to the fact that it is a very hard light. So on this setup, I'm using just one light. It's my top light, which is a RFI 3x4 softbox with a soft grid. RFI stands for Recessed Front Improved, and the recessed front is the edge around the softbox that controls the light spread more. On the background, I'm using um, light from the off-camera flash system, so OCF for the light shaping tools, which stands for off-camera flash. And uh, I can use uh, the OCF light shaping tools because they're lightweight and portable, and I cannot use these on other lights like the D1, for instance, because of the materials that are made to be lightweight and portable. Okay. This is, this is the type one. Beautiful. Lovely. Mark, you like it? Yes, very nice, I've got it.
where the light is coming from the top, on the opposite, so on the bottom part of all the plissé parts of the garments, you get the very, very heavy shadows, creating this very deep and uh, melancholic mood almost. Enhanced by my position on the floor, which was the key element to actually turn this picture into a great picture as opposed to a mediocre picture. We're building a cage, and the cage was actually an invention of my first mentor, a great photographer, Bardo Fabiani. And the principle is that the light comes from the background. So the background is the light, is the main light source, which is a four by six RFI softbox that is bouncing inside a cage of polystyrene, giving this extremely soft feeling. So there is no direct light onto the model. It's all reflected from behind. I've added some color gel to keep the same theme of colors uh, and that's coming as a hard light just directly from B1 um, onto the side of the model giving me some red highlights on the hair. I've added a diffusing panel in front of the softbox mainly to clean up my background. Okay, that's beautiful, okay. Lovely, yeah. More, 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 yeah. Excellent. Yeah, lovely. More and more and more and more and more stronger. Yes. Good, 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 Luna. That's fantastic. Beautiful, keep it going, yeah, lovely. Okay, and we got it, thank you so much. We see details like on the arms here where the arms are practically fading into the background itself. It's a very, very, very soft light with hardly any shadows and you see that it's almost fading into the background there. <laughs> Beautiful! <laughs> Normally you would have one of these four for uh, an editorial. Here we tie in the story with the color gels and the general feeling of the shot. So basically you have two images that are tying in together, which is the side lights or a silhouette light, if you like to call it that way, and the top light, they're linking in together. And then you have the other two, which is the hard light and the totally soft light, so the two opposites tying in. It's a game of oppositions uh, together with similarities in terms of colors, and that's exactly what we're playing with. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please press right here to find more videos in my series Tips and Tricks from The Light Shaper. See you soon. I can play this game. I can look at you. Keep it rolling and keep pressing. <laughs>